Hi, welcome back. This is Risa, your Stitch Buddy. This video is a stitch along guide to Tatiana Popova's beginner's silk embroidery kit called 12 Cups August, which I bought on Etsy and reviewed online, the link of which is provided above. Let's get started. I'll be a stitch buddy throughout the embroidery process and you may stop and resume anytime during the video and while you're working on your embroidery piece. The first step is to tack or base a muslin backing to the fabric with the pattern printed on it. The instructions don't require this, but in my experience, you will be glad you have a backing cloth when you end your ribbon stitches at the back of your work. This will help you avoid piercing the front of the fabric where the pattern is printed on. If you've watched some of my past videos, you can skip this chapter with the instructions on how to tack the backing cloth to the printed fabric. If not, take a white sewing thread and work simple running stitches along the boundary of the pattern. Make sure you don't knot the end of the thread so that um, you may be able to pull it out easily after finishing the embroidery. Be careful not to pierce the printed panel as this will be the part that will be framed when you're done. So there we have it, nicely stitched along the edges of the pattern. I'm going to mount my fabric on a hands-free needlework frame and stand to work my ribbon embroidery. You can click on the information card above to watch where to buy the stand and how to install it. I find using um, a stand is much easier for me while I work my ribbon embroidery particularly so that way you have both your hands free. Before you start to embroider your piece make sure you have a mini flat iron which you can get on Amazon and if not a normal iron to iron the ribbons. To thread the ribbon you cut the ribbon first at a 45 degree angle like so and this gives you a nice tip that you can use to thread the needle. Once you've inserted the ribbon you need to arrest it so you take the tip of the needle and insert it close to the start of the ribbon and pull it through. Now that arrests the ribbon and at the other end of the ribbon you fold the ribbon and insert the needle once again and pull the ribbon through. This will create a nice little square knot at the end that will get arrested when you start embroidering. The leaves are embroidered by simple ribbon stitches however to get the nice round shape on the edges of the ribbon the instructions recommend using 2mm silk ribbon as a toning thread to keep the shape on the edges while you stitch. Start with a 7mm dark green ribbon and bring it up from the back in the center of the leaf. Now take a 2mm toning ribbon and bring it out near the edge of where the leaf tips would be. Make a ribbon stitch by taking the 7mm ribbon under the 2mm and insert the needle back in the ribbon like you would for a normal ribbon stitch. Thank you. 
Stitch this color ribbon about three times before you start off on the other side of the leaf and then you can switch colors. Before you move on to the other side of the leaf, insert the 2mm ribbon back to the back of the fabric. I'll show you once during this video how to end off the ribbon at the back. It's very simple. You take your ribbon and insert it under the muslin, between the muslin and the front fabric and bring it through the muslin and just snip it off. Similarly you do the same for the 2mm ribbon and you leave little tails at the back that can be stitched together later on. Now switch to the slightly lighter 7mm green ribbon and continue to stitch the same pattern with ribbon stitches. About two stitches on either side should be sufficient until you finish off with the lightest green ribbon. Now for ending the tips of the green leaf, take the lightest green leaf Place the 7mm against the fabric, take your 2mm toning ribbon and insert the needle in the center of the 7mm ribbon from one side. Pull it through the fabric and then take it out and reinsert the needle again in the center from the other side. Once that's done, you fold over the 7mm ribbon over the toning thread and that forms a nice tip. Let's move on with the little red flowers. I've taken a 4mm red ribbon and I'm inserting the needle a bit off center to get a side ribbon stitch. There you go, you have a little fold towards the center 
and I'm gonna bring it back up at the same place and reinsert the ribbon at the same tip but on the opposite side of the ribbon so that when I insert the needle I get a cute little tip for a petal with the petals folding inwards. As you can see, you have a nice little tip with a natural looking petal. Now I'm going to do this sort of double ribbon stitch for the bigger red flowers and for the smaller ones I'll just do a single ribbon stitch and you'll see that later. Moving on to the sunflowers. So first we'll start with the center of the sunflower and make five spokes with a 2mm ribbon and weave essentially a woven rose in the center of the sunflower. Take a 7mm black ribbon and start weaving the rows in the center. Essentially first you make a twisted ribbon as you can see so you can have a tighter center for the sunflower. Go over the first spoke, under the second, over the third, under the fourth and over the fifth. And you continue in this manner until you cover the entire center.
Moving on to the petals of the sunflower after I've finished the other two centers, we have four different shades of yellow 13mm ribbon that we will use for the petals and for that we've been given a 13, number 13 chenille needle that I've already threaded. As you can see they are wide um, enough for the 13mm ribbon to be inserted and they're also thick enough so that it pierces the fabric and you can pull the ribbon through it more easily. Now the petals of the sunflower will be embroidered by simple ribbon stitches or alternating between ribbon stitches and straight stitches. So here I'm going to start with a ribbon stitch. Let's see where it fits better. Okay, let's start here. Have a simple ribbon stitch by inserting the needle in the center of the ribbon or slightly off center in this case. And then you basically take the needle a bit to the left or the right and in this case I'll bring it up slightly to the left of the first ribbon and take it back down at the center of the flower as a straight stitch. Now just be careful you don't pierce any of the black ribbons that are already in the center as that will pull the ribbon
I've started the stems for the delphinium at the bottom of the flower and now I'm moving up towards the top with a lighter shade of 2mm green ribbon and essentially using straight stitch or fly stitch by twisting the ribbons. I'm going to continue to finish off the stems for this fly as well with a simple twisted straight stitch with 2mm green ribbon. Now I'll stitch the leaves for the delphinium with a darker shade of green that's in the kit. Simple ribbon stitches at the top and here at the bottom. The kit comes with some beautiful ribbons. These are 13 mm ribbons and some four, uh, seven mm ribbons and then four mm ribbons and two mm ribbons. So we start with the two mm at the top and then we gradually increase the width of the ribbons as we get to the bottom. I'm going to start at the top with a combination of French knots and simple ribbon stitches and as we move down we will stitch half bow stitches with bigger with ribbons. So here we start with a French knot. Use a 2mm ribbon to make a French knot, twirl three loops around the needle and insert it back into the fabric. Once again, three loops around the needle, insert it back where you came up into the fabric. Remember to hold the ribbon taut on your left side as you push the needle back into the fabric. And continue doing so as and where you wish to have French knots in your delphinium. Using the variated 4mm blue ribbon, I'm going to stitch a few ribbon stitches here and there to give the delphinium a little bit more profile. So another one here, a ribbon stitch. So you can use your imagination and your artistry and feel free to scatter ribbon stitches, French knots and half bow ribbon stitches all around your Delphinium.
Another stitch that gives the delphinium a really nice body is the half bow stitch that Tatiana suggests using. So essentially, it's a simple ribbon stitch with a loft. You create a little loft and then you insert the needle close to where you came out on the fabric. So you push in the needle and pull the ribbon through gently so that you have a little bow that gets created. And it's perfect for the delphinium. Pretty ingenious stitch. Let's start with the pink flowers. First, you would need to stitch simple ribbon stitches around the center, leaving a gap in the center of the flower.
now we're going to do the star rose over the pink flowers. Um, the kit does not provide the instructions for the star rose, surprisingly. But if you have the book, page 60 has the instructions for the star rose. If not, not to worry, I'm going to show you how to do it now. You start about seven centimeters away from the center and you make a colonial knot. Here you take the ribbon, wrap it around the needle once and then one more time. And then close to the knot you take small running stitches. Don't pull the knot too tight when you do this. So small running stitches closer to the knot and then you get progressively wider stitches as you get to the center to have bigger folds and then you re-enter the needle back near the center and pull the needle and ribbon through the knot gently once you have a nice knot formed you can adjust the rows by twisting it so that the angles are at right angles to each other. The ribbons are at right angles to each other. And then you can tighten the knot. There you have it. You have a pretty star rose at the center of the pink flower. Moving on to the second last flower in this pattern, we have three shades, orange, brown and white that we will be working with and we'll start with half bow ribbon stitch here and then move on to um, French knots. the beautiful blue-green variated ribbons, foramen ribbons, to start with ribbon stitches at the tip of the leaves and we progressively 
change to the wider ribbons of a similar shade as we move to the bottom of the leaves in this design. loop daisy stitch to work on these three little lacy pink flowers with 2mm pink ribbon so we do this by making a simple straight stitch and holding a pin in between to arrest the ribbon from going through the fab fabric completely and allowing for a little loop to be formed so leave the first pin in while you do the second loop. Again, leave a pin there to hold the loop in place. Bring up the needle, do a third loop and hold another pin in place to create a loop. By the time you do the fourth stitch, you can remove the first pin. So this way you get pretty lacy loops for the flowers without any fear of the ribbons being pulled across or through the fabric. final part of the design sewing a simple stem stitch along the outline of the cup congratulations for staying with me this long and for watching this video I finally completed the 12 Cups August Silk Ribbon Embroidery Design and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to take it to the framers, get it framed and have it seen hung on my walls. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you again next time.